So what I've created is a single view application and in this video we'll talk about the info.plist. When you create a single view application, open up your supporting files and you'll see info.plist. You maybe have never used this thing and you maybe thought that it's not even really for you. Well, the cool thing is, is that you can actually pull information into your program. Like if you want to get bundle version string short into your program, you can get that. If you want to get bundle version, now some of this may not even really apply to you. You might not even really need this. But the cool thing is, is that you can set your own stuff in here. And this is basically a dictionary. So if you see that here's information property list, and that is a dictionary. And you can pull directly from that in your code and you can put your own settings in here, and you should, you should put your own settings in here, and this is the proper way to do it. So you can right click here and you can click add row, and let's say that you would say um, file URLs, and you would say this is like where you're gonna get your JSON data, like the base URL for all your JSON data. Uh, let's say that it's called mycoolsite.com slash files. And let's say that this is not file URL, let's say that this is base file URLs. That's where you get all of your files. So in our view controller, obviously you would do this in the view controller and you would go into view did load. You want to get that information back. So we'll call this base URL. Now there's obviously um, better places to put this uh, you know, maybe in a settings file or whatever, but the main point is how do you get this back? And this is really interesting in the latest version of Swift because we have this new as with the exclamation point. So anyway, let's try this. NS bundle dot main bundle. This is how you do it. You get it back by doing main bundle. And then you say object for info dictionary key. And in here, you'll put the string that we set in the info p list. So let's go back into that info p list. We set base file URL. So let's say you're going to try and pull down your JSON data. So I'll copy that. And this should give us the result. And you can fill that with as much crap as you want, and it will get back data. Now you're going to get um, probably a warning here. Well, at least sometimes you do. Yeah, it's, it's giving you a warning. It's just not the main point is that this returns an any object, and you want to, in the latest version X, so we'll get out about Xcode, we see that we're on 6.3, and this will be in the latest version that is released too. We want this to be a string, so we'll do as string, and this will get us back the base URL. So what we can do is we can print line that base URL, and we can run this. And you can see that that actually returns the data from your info p list. And that's how you do that. And that's where you should uh, be doing that. That's where you should be putting all your settings. No need to put your settings in code. You can definitely use those info.plists.